Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Land Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We're just gonna random. Last run was a lot of fun. Very weird. We, we can't hope to even, like, you know, repeat half of the success in terms of zaniness and also the ability to just flat out knock Blue Baby on his ass that we got last time. But hopefully, on this last run, we can at least make a valiant effort. Q426 FSSX. Whatever happened to SSX? That's a weird question. It's a totally rhetorical question because I know exactly what had to happen to SSX. SSX1, landmark, uh, you know, PlayStation 2 launch title, along with Fantavision, considered maybe the preeminent uh, PlayStation 2 launch title. SSX Tricky, fantastic game, a hallmark of the extreme sports genre. SSX3, push it even further, got a little open worldy. Maybe one of my favorite uh, sports games of all time, but then. You know, the extreme sports fad kind of wore off, and then EA's 2000, uh, 2011, 2012, somewhere in there, SSX Remake didn't quite hit the critical mass it would have needed to hit, and then uh, it's just kind of faded away into obscurity. It's a damn shame that uh, games like that don't get made that much anymore, or that people don't appreciate them when they do, I guess, because that franchise is pretty excellent. I mean, I played so many hours of SSX Tricky. This is like the weirdest thing to say. But the sound design, it's the weirdest thing to say, not for a person that's a professional in the industry, but for me, as someone who doesn't know what the fuck they're talking about in this area, um, the sound design in that game was so good. Whatever they foleyed to get the sound of, like, a snowboard shredding it was amazing. It was so satisfying. Uh, we didn't get an HP upgrade. We did get Speedball. I kind of like Speedball, but it, the truth of the matter is that it really doesn't help us out too much from the, you know, Lazarus perspective of things. The Lazarus Perspective is also a uh, 1970s movie about, you know, the nuclear disaster at Three Mile Island. But anyway, we are going to, um, hopefully be able to find, like, an eternal heart or something, or a, a way that makes it practical for us to kill ourselves and yet still come out on the other side with an advantage. Now, I'm just noticing we do have two rooms that require keys here, which means one of those is a library. We should take these pills. Hematomesis, well, it certainly makes it easier to die. And health down, which makes it less painful to die. Slight difference, but anyway. Um, the fact that there is a, a probable library up here, unless that was a double key room and I've made a mistake here. No, that's a single key room. It means there could be like a Book of Revelations. Uh, it's a Book of Belial. Two of Clubs and the Sun. Well, we definitely want to take Book of Belial. And we'll definitely crack this open. We got a spear at heart. I think we can afford to kill ourselves now. It's a weird sentence to be saying. But uh, with that spear at heart, I think we can now afford to, you know, just embrace the damage bonus that we'll get now and have the spear at heart to carry us as well. And maybe we'll look for a secret room here. Who knows what kind of greatness we might pick up there. Could have also blown up... Uh, the slot machine on the arcade, but it looks like that might be conceivable anyway. Obviously, like, if there could only be one book in the... in the... Uh, library? I hesitate to call it a library, because it only had one book on it to begin with, but... If there could only be one book on the quote-unquote library, I'm actually gonna try to spawn an arcade on the next floor. Um, then I'm very happy that it was Book of Belial, which is... probably the most OP book in the game. That is going to give us a huge ability to kind of snowball, but we do need the HP to actually make it, you know, so the engine runs. If that makes sense, you know. We can't really do too much with Deals with the Devil if we don't have any gas to put in the Deal with the Devil tank. It's, I don't know anything about cars. I should stick to some other analogies, you know, SSX was a decent one. It was a great one, one of the best, actually. Okay. Cool it, Sanchez, or you'll get a knuckle supper. I've got to admit, it's actually a little bit foreign to me right now, or it feels a little bit foreign to me to, um, not have the guillotine. <laughs> to actually be able to control, like, where my body is and hopefully, as a result, maybe be able to take a little bit less damage in the process feels very unusual. I am happy with this run right now. We have what some people would probably consider the best space bar item in the game. It's definitely up there for me. It might, if, if you pushed me, push came to shove, I might consider that this actually is. I might agree that this is the best uh, space bar item in the game. Um, for, for practical purposes, the D6 is really awesome as well. For, for both practical purposes and practical porpoises and uh, also fun dolphins as well but um, we're we're in the danger zone to some extent and there's not necessarily relief in sight even if we get HP on this floor we're probably gonna trade it away immediately to get deal with the devil precedent if the item is at least half decent uh, but we'll see 
Maggie's bow is awesome. Okay, so Maggie's bow is a pretty huge pickup for us here. Because it makes us tankier long term. It also fucks completely with our ability to actually get the, you know, permanent Polaroid invincibility if we have any red hearts available at all. But still, I like it. Bogo Bombs, Spirit Heart, it's just not good enough, unfortunately. Bogo Bombs is not worth 15 cents. It, if, if we had Sad Bombs and, like, no damage, maybe I'd take it, but... Most of the time I end up buying Bogo Bombs, it's like, you know, when you go to the... You go to, like, a Mexican restaurant, and you're not on a budget, and they're like, Do you want guacamole with that? It's an extra 250 and you go, fuck it, yeah, I do want guacamole. Why wouldn't I get guacamole? That's how I feel about, uh, Bogo Bombs. Bogo, I mean, guacamole is delicious. I'm not trying to say it's not an essential upgrade. All I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you're on a budget, you're not picking up uh, guacamole, nor are you picking up Bogo Bombs, there's more practical things that you can do with that, you know, 275. With the uh, Maggie's Bow pickup, it is conceivable, although not necessarily super likely, that we could get a Blood Bag. The Blood Bag pickup would be very useful. I'm very happy to have an extra, uh heart working in our favor here. You know what? This is very interesting now. Uh, we're totally gonna take Judas' Shadow, which also gives us another, like, multiplicative effect to our HP, and I will kill myself again on this run to get the effect of Judas' Shadow. I think that's the right play, actually. I, I often have the opportunity to pick up Judas' Shadow, but I very, very, very rarely have the opportunity to actually get value out of it. You know, I always pick it up and it's like, well, if I die, I get to use it. Fuck that. Let's have a whole run as Dark Judas here. So my thinking is we'll, um, you know, do a little bit more exploration. Then we'll, uh, you know, peacefully end our lives on the Blood Bank. Time is looking pretty good. And our damage will be incredible. Now, our HP is not going to be good. That's the, that's the caveat here. But our damage is going to be exceptional. I wish we could crack this open as well, but... Now, I mean, we, uh, we could buy Bogo Bombs. Does Bogo Bombs come with some bombs? I'm kind of assuming that it has to, right? Otherwise, why would you ever, you know, use it at all? Maybe we will. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna end our own lives here. I had a... I was harboring some desire that maybe we'd get Blood Bag out of it. It would be pretty funny if we did. Alright, so now we should have just crazy good damage. For this stage of the game, considering the items that we've gotten, you know? Um, and we'll come down here and we'll see if there's anything useful in our shop that we can take advantage of here. Maybe this run is going to be, you know, equal in terms of zaniness. There is a Spirit R for sale. There's just a straight up bomb for sale as well. But you know what? We can afford it now. Let's get BOGO bombs. It does not come with any bombs. That's horse hockey. But we got our Spirit Heart anyway. I don't know why I care about having five cents here. All right. Let's do it. It's weird, but we actually have a decent amount of HP, more than I would have expected. We're Dark Judas, we've got a multiplicative damage factor. Let's do it up. Don't really want to go to that curse room right away, though. Of course, anytime you have, like, a Book of Belial or a Goat Head or something like that, it does suck that, uh, you know, XL floors exist, but... Them is the breaks. We'll still get a deal with the Devil guaranteed on this floor. We're just missing out on the potential of one more, but... We should worry more about the fact that we'll have to pay 75% of our health for any deal that we take. Unless we get some red hearts in the process here, which, you know, is in the realm of possibility, to be sure. Watch out for these neutral flies. They're probably the enemy that does, like, the second most damage to me after massive infamy or something. We do have enough keys to open both of our item rooms, but the shop is going to be a little bit off the table. Unless we get... You know, a table that's full of money or something like that, in which case we could use one of our two bombs to take advantage of that. Thank you, Harlequin Baby, for doing what apparently I could not. I'm I'm not in a position to really be asking for stuff on this run. Not because we're doing, like, fantastically or anything like that, but just because it could go either way. What we have on this run is a really decent base in pretty much... Yeah, okay, that's fine. In pretty much all directions, right? Like, we have decent HP. Could be a lot better, don't get me wrong. We have decent damage. Could be a lot better. We got a great spacebar item. Can't really get that much better than that, but... Basically, there's just a lot of different directions this run could go in, so I don't I don't really know <laughs> what to ask for. I don't know whether to say, hey, give us more damage, or... I think what I'm really coming out on this is, you know, give us everything. But it doesn't have to be big, you know, swings for the fences or something like that. I can... I can... 
pull together a win here. That was not very smart. I can pull together a win here by nickel and diming it as well. The Ankh is the first item that will bring me back to life that I actually don't have a practical use for. So um, we're gonna we're gonna say no to the Ankh. I mean, we're gonna take it, but we're gonna say no to actually like productively using the Ankh for now. I think we'll just try to blow this up. I was gonna fuck around, and try to create a bridge with it at the same time. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's where I want to be going with this life right now. I don't think I want to be playing fast and loose with our limited number of bombs, limited number of HP, limited number of hearts. I guess I should say, uh, and you know other stuff along those lines. Very bad damage here. Almost got hit again at the very end of it as well. Health up. Yeah, yeah, we'll take it. That's great. Inside of this chest, we get uh, more bombs. Haven't really thought about what we're gonna do with this room, but I'll have to, at some point. This is great. We'll trade two bombs for six bombs and uh, another spirit heart, and actually full HP as well. Let's check out this room because we might not come back. We don't really want the tarot cards. I don't think we need to care. We'll buy the key. I don't think we need to care about the spirit heart right now. Because we're in a situation where, because we have one red heart, all of the deals with the devil will be for red hearts. And we don't have rerolls that could turn those into, uh... Into... Into spirit heart deals, so... I don't think we should worry about that too much. I think we should just stick with what we've got, you know, save our money. Maybe we can get another health upgrade here, though. Bombs are coming pretty fast. And pretty furious. There's Lemon Party. Paralysis. Uh, both of those, I'm just happy to know that they're there. Luck up, that's great. Range up is fine. I will sacrifice a spirit art to come in here now because our um, our actual uh, spirit hearts are going to be more for survival than actually trading for deals with the devil at this point, thanks to that red heart we picked up. So we can afford to be a little bit, you know, more aggressive with giving up spirit hearts for a chance to get some awesome stuff in return. Might as well be taking advantage of petrified poop, considering we have petrified poop. <laughs> It's not any more complicated than that. Inside of our mob trap room. We got a key back, so... I guess I don't feel too bad about this as long as we maybe get one other consumable. And don't take damage in the process, but... A little bit of a waste of time, if nothing else, here. But maybe we'll get, like, a penny? No, nothing at all, okay. Well, we're just going to keep, you know, very slowly making our way to the boss room. We have an item room in the process. Two boss rooms, a guaranteed deal with the devil. And enough time to get uh, a decent amount of cash. Maybe if we come across a judgment, that would be nice. Because I think we could come across a judgment, get him to pay out. Might finance yet another deal with the devil with that HP, which is what they normally pay out with. And we'd still probably be able to get enough money from Petrified Poop and just random drops that we'd have a chance to spawn an arcade on the next floor. But first things first. We're going to fight the bosses here. Could farm up another Book of Belial charge and use one here and then, you know, the, the second one on the next fight, but it's super not necessary. The Hollow is, like, probably the easiest boss in this section, even more so than the Husk, and we got a great DPS upgrade from it. All right. And then we got the Husk, and, you know, we might as well. Even if we fight Krampus next, you know, we can just throw a bomb or two down against him, and we should be fine. So this deal with the Devil, and this floor in general, is, is looking extremely juicy. That damage upgrade is great. Uh, followed by the Nail, huh? I think we, we have to say Book of Belial is probably better than the Nail. We'll take the Black Hearts and just get out of here. Now, I'm still thrilled about the way that this kind of went down. You know, we picked up... Uh, that's not going to help too much, I guess. Uh, 2020 is so huge. This floor has been amazing for us. Uh, this just incredible, really. We should trade a bomb for a key. Been to both item rooms. The floor is almost over. Yeah, we're going to get ready to leave. But I would... You know, it's a little early... Just a little, though. I'm going to call this one. I think this is pretty much a guaranteed one run. You know, future deals with the devil are guaranteed to exist, anyway. Just got to keep a good head on my shoulders and don't uh, find myself in a too difficult of a situation here. The 2020 pickup is enormous, plus the two huge DPS upgrades from the boss. Plus all of the, you know, kind of productive suicide we've been doing here. It's worked out real nicely. I understand the value of the nail, but I think Book of Belial is a, a lot more useful. Like, the nail's really good. Book of Belial's just in a class of its own. Alright. So 2020 plus ridiculously high damage is going to carry us a long, long way. 
The only other thing we need to do is is try to get as much uh, kind of interstitial health or extraneous health as we possibly can. But apart from that, this run's going all right, man. That was seriously like you know, that that floor is the kind of Isaac equivalent of those movies where maybe it happens in real life where someone's like a relative died that you've never heard of or even talked to but it turns out you're their favorite inexplicably by the way they were like a billionaire but nobody knew it crazy right they left you like a hundred million dollars you know that happens with surprising regularity in uh, in media and that's pretty much what happened it was like hey you know Isaac died he gave you torn photo and growth hormones and 2020, and you, here's the nail, but it's up to you. And now we're gonna reroll the whole run with D100, because fuck it. Fuck it! Alright, what do we got now? The slowest monstro's lung, PhD. I don't even know, you know, what to say about this right now. Um, I, I, as much as I loved the run that we have, I do love the D100 as well. We get to experience a variety of different runs here, and uh, it, it keeps up the zaniness, and honestly, the zaniness has been winning runs. You know, the D100 has worked out fantastically for us in the past, as has the D4. What we will do, and, oh, we have Stompy, so we might as well take advantage of this right now, but what we will do is, um, re-roll Wheel of Fortune, Wheel of Fortune, the rules card, and Burkano rune. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna take. Wheel of Fortune, I guess. Um... What we will do is, you know, I'm worried about perma breakfasting, so I'm going to put myself in a position where when we reroll into something that's particularly cool or particularly amazing, I, I got to go back for that in case it's the era rune. Uh, if we reroll into something that's particularly cool or particularly amazing, that's going to be it. Like I'm going to stick with that. But until then, sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. What are you doing here? Thank you, finally. We have PhD for now, so we should enjoy it at least and take all these pills when they're available. Awaz rune. Careful. Yeah. I don't really care about that Wheel of Fortune card, I just really don't want to go down to the next floor for no reason. This run, you know, I love Monstro's Lung. Monstro's Lung homing. Doesn't seem like it's that amazing, although in, in theory or on paper it sounds great. The shots seem to come out like a little bit too fast to make the homing work as well as you might think, but... Yeah, I'll take this. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be sad when we reroll this. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Portable slot? Eh, we might as well take the pill. Well, we might as well buy the pill. Take the pill is a little bit of a strong, you know, course of action there when we are dealing with something like Are You a Wizard? Another secret room over here. And then I guess we'll reroll right after the boss. Good way to end the floor, maybe. Some kind of invincibility going on here. Did we see that pill? Yeah, that pill's Are You a Wizard. It's the one we bought. Obviously. The moon. We can already see where we're going, but still. It's the thought that counts. I appreciate that. Th those hearts probably aren't going anywhere. And even more pills. Lemon Party. Health up, sure. It gives us one more thing to reroll, I think. Maybe, maybe not. Lemon Party, or what's the other one? The moon? Let's just take Lemon Party into the boss fight and make it a little easier. Well, why not? Uh, that's why not, because it's not actually going to do anything for us. Uh, maybe it will. Let's see. Oh, it does. Uh, that makes Massive Infamy a lot easier. No more Book of Belial means, unfortunately, no more, uh... Oh, we had Nod Leave as well? It means, unfortunately, no more Guaranteed Devil Deals. We're gonna reroll this and everything. So I'm glad we got Blood Clot to go along with it. Uh, we got Quad Shot, Piercing Shot, Fire Bombs, Leech, of course. I think we might have Lard on this run. I mean, this is looking like a pretty okay run. Let's see how much damage we do on this one before we commit. We're on 16 minutes. This is... Oh, we have RoboBaby 2.0. How did I miss that? But, uh, yeah, this damage is actually looking pretty good. But we have the chance to get the boss rush here, actually, which would be very interesting, I guess. We are a little slow, so i got to be a little cautious about this, but... My hope is that maybe we can make this run happen. I might actually stick with this run. I know it's not that zany. Oh, we got permanent Polaroid invincibility, or, you know, some form of invincibility here. I'm still gonna hurt myself as much as I can to get into that, uh, boss trap room. Gives us a lot of money that we can use to augment ourselves in the shop somewhat. Uh, do we have Bloody Lust? Oh, I think we might have Bloody Lust. Kinda hard to tell. Do we, I think we also have the Mulligan. 
It's gonna be hard for me to let this run go. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Maybe we don't have Bloody Lust. But our damage is very, very solid. You know, quad shot, piercing shot. Do we not have the mulligan? I don't want it to be infestation. It looks like the mulligan. I'll tell you what, if we can get like a good rate of fire going on this run, it's like a very, very keepable run. Maybe not quite as interesting as the ones we've had coming before it, but definitely like there's a win contained within here. There is a win within. Okay, the golden key may or may not come in handy. Remember, I can't crush rocks anymore. As much as I might wish that that was uh, different, it isn't. In spite of the quality of this run, I think I'm going to give it one more. That's going to get rerolled anyway, so we might as well just do it now. I'm going to give it one more reroll here. These shots are looking. They're looking good. They're looking fire mind. Maybe some uh, Pisces style knockback going on here. Charming. Samson's chains. Yeah, okay. That might. Okay, there's a rune back there. This might be what I stick with. This is looking a little bit more bombastic than our last run. As much as I love the last run, the last run, like the, the, the one, the permutation just before we re rolled was like, I'm gonna love you forever and ever. Forever and ever, amen. And this run is a little bit more like, do what you want, do what you want with my body. I'm a little bit more into that on this run, a little zanier, you know? So we have the Ansu rune. There is a blank card in the shop, so I was thinking like if that was a Yara rune, I'd be up for that. But we can't really do what I'd want to do with that, but I think we still want to go with this and we'll say D100, you been good. It's been it's been a fun time. I appreciate it. Ansus will show us the way to go. Uh was there not a fool card here? Alright, we're gonna go fast. And we're gonna say fuck the item room for now, because we're gonna go into the boss rush, take our item, and get the fudge out. That's okay, kill them all. We're gonna come back for those. I don't wanna talk about that. We should try to keep our HP in a decent position considering this is the run we're gonna roll with now. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm very content with this situation now. Thank you, D100, for again, resetting things. You Like, if you're being mad about the fact that I chose to roll with this run, you gotta get your shit together, man, okay? I'm just gonna tell you that shit straight up. I got the respect for you that allows me to talk to you as if we're both, you know, human beings here, give you some respect. You can't roll with the D100 forever. I'm not gonna willingly breakfast myself to death and then be like, Oh, well, that was fun. You know, we lost because I rerolled too much, but well, it was the journey that counts. Fuck that. The journey counts. The destination, also a little bit important. We gotta go fast here. No! Krampus! Krampus, you bitch! Krampus! Krampus! Oh, you mother... We lost boss rush because we fought... Farking Krampus. Ugh! Do what you want, do what you want with my butthole. Well, we still have a shop to visit here, don't we? No, we've already been. That's where we got Blank Card, of course. Um, did I just use the Ansus rune? I did use the Ansus rune. It's a relatively minor thing, because that's not that useful for us anyway, but that is a little stupid. Oh, I didn't know I had Stompy on this run as well. Shouldn't have picked up those Spirit Hearts. That's okay. PhD still? Maybe PhD sticks with us, because I definitely recognize these ones. Um, guess we have Gimpy? Anyway, I mean, this is still a great run. I'm a little salty about what happened uh, back there. Oh, this is the good stuff. <sighs> yeah, Blank Card Suicide King. What a classic combination. Blank Card Magician, though. Um, we'll, we'll take a look for some better ones. We'll see. I'm happy with this combination, though. But anyway, what I was getting at is basically... You, I, I'm not going to deliberately basically kill myself and ruin the run with um, with D100. If you want me to reroll it forever, you know, that's... It sounds like I'm passing the buck here, but that's on Ed. You know, if he wants to make it so that the, the pool never gets exhausted... I guess we might as well pick this stuff up. If he wants to make it so the pool never gets exhausted, that'll open the door to doing stuff like that. But I'm not going to willingly lose a run just to be like, Haha, get it? <laughs> anyway. 
we I don't really care about our second secret room. It can't really hold that much that I'm interested in. Hoping there's like a tarot card over here, but uh, oh, there is. Okay, let's bomb it out. Death. There's not really much reason to use that, but, you know, we're not going to be holding on to our Suicide King card forever. Or are we, as we head down to the next floor? This should be a one run, but fuck it, dude. I don't know. Maybe we'll get another full run reroll somewhere on this floor. Curse of the Unknown. Our HP is good. We should try to make it so that we don't take uh, much damage in the process, though. The thing that I'm most likely going to die as a result of right now... That was enemy creep. There was enemy creep within the rock. Come on now. Uh, the thing I'm most likely going to die as a result of is probably accidentally hitting Q and using the Suicide King card, which is very much like a real plausible cause of death right now. I mean that sincerely. Lucky us. Um, I almost hit the space bar to use Suicide King. Now we could accidentally hit uh, the Q key or the space bar. Our chances of death have just doubled, I would say, as a result of that. We shall see, though. Um, I would love to get nine lives and then actually start being able to u or be able to use the Suicide King card effectively, just because it would mostly be ridiculous. You know, uh, with the tower card, who cares? Dub Loki is not a problem. In fact, not many enemies with the damage that we're dealing, not many enemies are going to be a problem here. The only thing that sucks, of course, is the fact that Firemind explodes in our face, but... You know, apart from that, we're pretty much crushing it Gary Vaynerchuk style here. Uh, don't love the fact that I actually was able to pick up that HP. We're going to take Synth Oil. I don't think Nine Lives is coming, boys, but... That was the most Canadian sins I've ever said related to the Binding of Isaac, but I don't think Nine Lives is coming. Oh, but we have the Ankh, but we don't have the Ankh, right? Like, we used to have the Ankh. Thank you, Samson's Chain. Not as easy as you might think to just walk him in there, but... If we could use Blank Card with Lemon Party, I would love it. It would be Lemon Mishab, but with twice the fucking charge. <laughs> now that I think about it, maybe that actually wouldn't be so good. Actually, Lemon Party, though, is a little bit, uh... Ugh. A little bit, uh... Larger in radius than... Lemon mishap. You know, a mishap, that's a, you know, couple of drinks in the sun and then you ended up having to take a nap to get over it. A party, that's like a whole to do. It's a shindig. So I'm thinking that what we probably do won't really work that well against Mom's Heart, but against uh, some enemies. Use Fire Mine, stack up as many fires as is possible, and then get them to try to jump on that fire, which will, you know, kill them all pretty quickly. Seems like a viable strategy. In the meantime, we're also going to plan on, you know, getting down to the chest, and once, uh, once there, who knows what kind of shenaniganery we might be able to get up to. I, I can't lie, this is like the digital form of popping bubble wrap. Like, that was so satisfying right there. Well, we've actually gained HP on this floor. Man, I gotta be very careful. I use space to get through the vignette. But what if we'd had Curse of the Maze and that wasn't a vignette? And as a result, I ended up using the Suicide King card and accidentally killing myself. We gotta watch out for shit like that, which can totally happen. So really pay attention to, like, not maybe you just shouldn't press space in the vignettes anymore, you know? Instead, just don't do that. But also pay attention to when it's a Curse of the Maze. So we're up to the cathedral. I mean, this is a very fast run for a run that's had so many weird rerolls associated with it, but... Really hoping, like, nine lives, something, something comes up. I can't think of any other way that we end up being able to use Suicide King. It will kill us. If we don't fight, they will kill us both. That's uh, a little bit of a Cable Guy reference. Cable, cable Guy, it's pretty good. It's all right, you know? It's not Jim Carrey's finest work. A little underrated at release and probably a little overrated as a cult classic since then, but it's still, it's pretty good. Plus, I can't hate on any Jim Carrey movies except for the number 23 because, you know, he's pretty much the patron saint of Canadian acting. He's literally on our stamps right now. And, that, you know, if you don't believe me, if you're a Canadian and you're saying, oh, that's a lie... Go to the post office, dog. Go up to the counter. Don't just send your shit, you know, don't just drop it in the mailbox. 
I promise you, you will be able to buy a stamp that has Jim Carrey's face on it. Also, Martin Short, weirdly enough. I, I mean, it's not really that weird. He's Canadian, but just a the more you know, I guess is what I'm trying to say here. Can't get nine lives from this guy. If it was Ultra Pride, we'd be able to. Uh, okay, so Blank Card Hero Font is a wild one. Because it's pretty much... Uh, like a much better Book of Belial. Or, sorry, a much better Book of Revelations. Without the Horseman aspect, which is part of the reason it's better, I think. But, um... We are not going to use it, because I can't get this Suicide King out of my head, man. If we had Starter Deck, I'd take it with us, but... I can't get this Suicide King nonsense out of here. I know we should probably should take more bombs, but I'm really, I'm trying, man. I'm trying to think up a way, conceivably, that we can make this work. One of the ways would be like a one-up in our secret room. Yeah, just keep belching your spawn into the fucking uh, fire that I placed directly in front of your womb hole. Do what you want, do what you want with my womb hole. It doesn't have the same kind of brash sexiness that the kids are all into these days. You know, the 50 shades. Generation 50. Freedom 55. I guess we're, oh, keyboard was messed up there for a second. Gonna be looking for a secret room on the very off chance we have a one-up. Ooh. What about you? You got like a one-up hidden in there somewhere? Did not think so, but it was worth a shot anyway, maybe? Well, we're kind of striking out. I've got to learn. Don't get so freaking close. But we do have Fanny Pack, I guess, on this reroll, which is actually, you know, paid out for us there nicely enough. And we got Monstro to sit on the fire, which just basically shit on him. But we did lose our Spirit Heart right after, because I'm continuing to be a little bit of an idiot here. I heard the tone from, um... From blank card as it being fully charged and I was like oh time to use whatever our card is no 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 my friend don't let don't fall victim to that line of reasoning that's not gonna do you any favors here why am I deliberately holding a card that can kill me if I just have like one mental lapse which I am very much known for uh, I'll give you you know eight good reasons here because I'm not a fucking puss there you go. That's eight reasons as far as I'm concerned. Plus, how cool would it be if this actually worked out? It's like a hard drug, man. We've been going ham on Isaac. Which is also my deli order, coincidentally. But we've been going, you know, hard as hell here. Trying to do these zany runs. And they've been working out. So now I'm basically saying, like, I'm, I'm taunting the game. I'm saying, you can't hurt me. Even if I, I'll carry this card that will, like, deliberately, potentially kill me. Still can't stop me. Cross the plane. Touchdown. Greg Jamings. Alright, try to keep these guys in a row. Get, like, a little bit of an explosion. Followed by them walking into the fire like a lambs to the slaughter, baby. Still on the cathedral. A little bit of a surprise to me. We're going to end up exploring, like... Quite literally everywhere. I realize I'm leaving consumables on the ground. Again, come and stop me, game. If you want him, come and fucking claim him. The DOT is going to be pretty good here. You know, the... Not the frequent guest star on West Coast... West Coast... West Coast hip-hop albums. I must have infamy as well. Um, not that that's the DOC. This is the DOT, the damage over time. It's going to be pretty good. Ideally, I would love to find a way to get Isaac to kind of like... Find himself on top, or find himself on top of this fire. I don't think there's any way we can actually like will that into existence. As much as I would like to, we just gotta kind of hope that he lands there by himself, which is pretty unlikely. The more explosions, the better, though. We didn't even create any fire that time. That was pretty close to being damaged. I'll, I'll own up to that one. A little bit of fire over here, but I don't think that's gonna help. Yeah, that one might work though. It's pretty much dead center. Ah, uh, took the upper side. Might be able to get the kill here, though, thanks to the damage over time, or even just the raw damage. Okay, down to the next floor. A loss is still totally conceivable here. I mean, we would have won almost certainly with blank card Hierophant, but I wanted to see what, you know, how the other side lives. I want to know what this is like. Celtic Cross is okay. Bottle of Pills could help. Hematomesis might save our life. Luckfoot 
more chests we get down here, the better. Uh, but we're sticking with Blank Card Suicide King, apparently. So we'll use Hematemesis um, if and or when we get down to one heart anyway, so it's basically just free HP. Rosary. We should probably save that until we're about to fight the boss. It's been a little while since we've had to resort to, like, min maxi type uh, tactics here. Please, jump on top. Uh, oh, we have a Celtic Cross or some kind of invincibility working out in our favor here. Oh, this is not going so well. Um, but I think that it's a min maxi tactic that is much better for us to employ than for us to ignore. So, oh my god. We might actually want to carry the hematomesis pill with us instead of Suicide King. No, you think? Yeah, I'm, I'm being real with you. It's Fire Mind, man. I mean, a lot of that was just double cage as well, which is a bullshit room, but a lot of that was Fire Mind. Let's try to come back from it here. We got good luck stats, apparently. We, we seem to be getting a lot of chests anyway through our first few rooms. Hopefully we can continue with that. I still feel very comfortable in this run, truth be told. We got that Rosary pickup either for the boss or when we need it. We got good damage, and we've got this Hematomesis pill. It's like basically one bail us out card. Interesting, I'll say that much. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, the body. This body is a wonderland. Doesn't give us that much more HP, but... I guess I'll take this. I don't know. What... Well, if we get more consumables on the ground that we know what to do with, we have the D20 to use with it, but... For now, this is an okay situation. I don't think we're going to need Hematomesis now. Like, that body pickup was pretty clutch. I, In a way, and this is going to sound so ungrateful, but I almost resent the, the, the fact that the body did show up, because now if I win, people are going to be like, oh, it's just because he got carried by the body. But honestly, I think we were in a pretty okay position regardless, even though the situation probably looked pretty weird. Increased rate of fire, even for a lower damage modifier, I'll take it. Um, even though the situation, you know, looked a, pretty, a little squirrely there, I was still feeling uh, very confident in our chances of success. Probably shouldn't take that. Sp can't take that spirit art. Actually, in a way, the body was almost a little bit too good because uh, now we actually can't pick up the rosary, which was one of our get out of jail free cards. So we've really got to pay more close attention to our red hearts now. Hematomesis come becomes kind of like a, I don't know, almost like a. I'm trying to think of the item. Almost like a sun card, basically. A shitty sun card. Setting up a nice little wall of fire here. Finding myself kind of wishing that I was back in my original run that did have Maggie's bow, so these hearts would be worth twice as much. That's okay, though. So if we can't pick... Oh, we can probably still pick up the rosary. We just wouldn't get the actual benefit out of it. We just get nothing. Little Chad, uh, it's okay. It's actually possibly pretty good, even if it only pays out for us like once here. I'm going to have to kill Sloth. He's going to go down by accident, I'm sure. Yeah, we got bombs instead. Don't really kill... Or don't really care who we kill first here. Had a feeling something like that might happen. Well, this Hematomesis pill might end up actually being the, you know, complete savior of this run. I realize we could reroll some stuff with the D20, but now that we have Bloody Penny, that seems like a little bit less important. Got to be coming close to our boss fight anyway at this point. And are we really going to roll, you know, blank card hematomesis pill, a combination that makes no sense? Yes. Yes, we are. Because it makes no sense. Now, Lard, I... Now that I'm on the spot, I can't even remember if Lard actually gives you any HP. I think it gives, it gives you two, but only fills up half. I don't think it slows you down, though, so we might as well take it. Let's see if I was right. Yeah, it gave me half. Okay. That was a lot of fanfare for a single half heart, but that's okay. Again, this should be pretty much totally won. I would love to pick up Sad Bombs here. I don't even know if Super Mega can drop it. Drop Mr. Mega, which is fine. Rubber Cement, awesome as well. Probably gonna res it's It's awesome to look at. It will probably result in me taking a lot more damage from, you know, random explosions. But, you know, how can I resist that awesome, you know, looking tear effect that we got going on here? Gives it pseudo-penetrative tears as well. 
Yeah, this is actually upping our, our killing potential. I'm not going to say our damage, but it's upping our killing potential quite a lot. And weirdly enough, I seem to be taking less damage as a result of it, but whatever. Looks like we're probably not going to be able to use Suicide King. I know. What a tease. Trust me, I, I wish... Oh, there was a half heart there I should have taken. I wish that we could have made a, found a way to make it work, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. You know? Them's the breaks. So we're going to try to put... Uh, there we go. Yeah, try to put... Uh, Samson's chain in front of us. It's not the easiest thing in the world. But we're going to win here. Interesting run. Lots of zany shit that happened there. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.